Alright guys, so you might be wondering why I have no makeup on right now. Um, if you watched my haul video that I posted a couple of videos back, I told you all that I was going to be doing some first impressions on some of the new products that I bought. And that's what I'm going to be doing today. And I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation. And my shade is in the color Fair. I haven't used this product at all, so this is going to be a true first impressions. I did swatch it on my hand the day that I bought it just to make sure that the color would match me. It looked like it would match pretty well. And from what I could tell from the hand swatch, it looked like it was going to be a really good cream foundation. Let me go ahead and zoom the camera in. And I normally just apply my foundation with my hands, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. It is pretty full coverage from what I can tell. Like, it's pretty thick. I do have a blemish, like, right there. I might need to use some concealer if this doesn't cover it up all the way. It kind of reminds me of the consistency of my Garnier BB Cream. Um, just like a little bit thicker though than that. That Garnier BB Cream is a little bit more sheer than this. But the consistency reminds me of that. It is very creamy. It's really easy to apply from what I could tell. And so far I like the coverage on it. Also too, I don't know if this foundation oxidizes or anything like that. So it's another thing that I'll be checking to see if, what it does on that. And I also will be checking to see the wear on this. It says all day wear. Um, so I'm going to update it later on in the day and tell you all what I think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and come back. Alright, so I just finished the rest of my makeup and um, on the back here it just says that it's all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin, matte finish. And it says Visibrite Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. It's not completely full on full coverage because I still had to cover up some blemishes that I had. But I feel like on a whole that it is pretty full coverage. I do feel like it's really lightweight and it says satin matte finish. And I feel like it might be a little bit more matte than satin matte. Because when I think satin matte I think of kind of... A little bit of a shine to it I don't really feel like it has a whole lot of shine at all to it right now maybe throughout the day once it starts to set into your skin more and your oil starts mixing with it it might have a little bit more of a satin matte finish but right now it seems pretty matte to me and I didn't even top it with a powder so if you topped it with a powder it probably would feel even more matte with the Visibright complex that it's supposed to have in here it says that it's supposed to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenate skin. I feel like it does do that. Like, I don't feel like it enhances wrinkles or anything. I have, like, a few, like, fine lines, like, around my eyes, and I don't feel like it accentuates them at all. Um, right now, it's 10.53. I will update you guys here in a little bit and let you know what I still think about this foundation. Alright, guys, it's now 5.48. So it's been almost seven hours since you guys last saw me and I feel like the foundation is holding up pretty good. Um, I don't know if you all can tell on camera but it's definitely looking a little bit more dewy than it was earlier after I got done applying it. Let me zoom the camera in so you guys can see how the foundation has held up. Um, so this is what it's looking like right now. Um, now, I don't feel like this foundation has oxidized at all. I feel like it stayed really true to color. Now, I have some blemishes that are starting to peek through. So if you have just like acne, maybe scars, or like 
acne that's kind of like gone but fading away it would probably have those but if you have like brand new breakouts like this is a brand new breakout for me um it didn't really hide those real real well so for it to be like a full coverage foundation i feel like it should have these and not show these at all so i would consider this more of a medium covered foundation now, if i would have topped this with a powder it probably would be looking still matte on me right now so i don't know if you have really oily skin if this foundation would work for you because my skin is not oily at all and it is a little shiny this doesn't bother me though i like foundations that kind of look dewy like this just because i feel like it makes your skin look youthful and younger <laughs> i'm really pleased with this foundation so far i would say that it is probably pretty close to all day wear and all day wear would be somewhere between seven to ten hours and i feel like this has held up really good so i can only imagine like how much better this foundation would hold up um with powder on top of but it i guess if i had to give this foundation a a rating between like one to five stars i probably would give it like a three and a half four probably more of a three and a half i guess just because i feel like it isn't as matte um i guess as it claims to be and i don't feel like it is as full coverage as it claims to be but if you like dewy medium coverage foundation, I highly recommend this if you like a foundation like that. For me, I love foundations like that, so I really like the way that this turned out. So just leave me comments on this foundation if you've tried it before, if you like it, if you don't like it, like what you would rate this foundation as. And I will talk to you guys very soon, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.